Hello everybody, Desert Gold here. Uh, beautiful, calm, peaceful Sunday evening. Thought I'd do a quick review of a couple of what I consider very good choices for um, carrying a Glock 20 or 21 pistol. Um, the demonstration pistol for tonight, or firearm if you want to call it, is the Glock 20. This is my Glock 20 10 mil. Um, pretty much a stock uh, Glock 20, with the exception of uh, I changed out the uh, trigger system to a three pound pull, and then it's um, kind of noticeable is the um, red dot is a Delta Delta Point uh, 8 MOA red dot that I had. Uh, attached to the slide. Sent the slide out to a company called Bowie Tech and they did, as you can see, a very professional job in milling that out and attaching it to the slide. It uh, doesn't get any better than that. It looks uh, pretty much uh, factory to me. The uh, red dot is one of the better ones as far as I'm concerned. Uh, good sight picture helps develop uh, both eye uh, target acquisition. Um, I'm sure you're not able to see the red dot because uh, I'm not probably able to point it in the right direction for you, but uh, trust me, it is a good, uh, good, uh, uh, easily uh, acquired uh, triangular red dot in that. Now, the 10 mil is a full-size pistol, and as such, uh, makes or create some challenges that uh, um, require some consideration in how you're going to carry the, the weapon. Um, as far as it, for me personally, this, uh, this uh, sidearm is a little too large for inside the waistband, so both of my choices are going to be outside the waistband uh, uh, holsters. The uh, first one uh, is this Galco. The Galco is a uh, all leather holster. It, um, as you can see, has got a very slim profile to it, adding to its uh, concealment capabilities. Very, very well made, high quality leather holster. Again, you can see how, how narrow that holster is. And you have this on your waist, it's as close to your waist, uh, easily concealed to leave in a t-shirt. Very, very good holster. Um, the molding on the holster, you can see, is uh, almost to a T what is required for the weapon. To the extent where sometimes this is so tight that it does require a good a good jerk to get it out. Um, my only concern when I was wearing this was even with this sitting on, on close to your body and um, if you had a shirt over it or a sweatshirt or something bulky and you were pulling up, it requires a good pull and then you have to start clearing your garment and then rotating the pistol. Um, quite a, quite a, you know, distance from a quick draw technique in my opinion anyway. The other option I came up with was this Phobos uh, EMG 2021 uh, holster. Um, unique in its appearance. Um, it almost lo looks like there's half a holster missing. This uh, open area here. You got a pivot point where the. Um, uh, let's see if I can get it on the camera. I doubt that I will. The notch in the center there is where the barrel sits 
keeping the front of your uh, weapon secure at the bottom there. The uh, thing I like about this holster, um, well first let me get to some of the things that might be detracting from it. As you can see, it's uh, quite bulky. It's just well away from the, from the uh, waist. Making concealment a little more challenging with this. Um, the uh, belt loops here um, you actually would uh, require you to have the belt running through it so there's no real quick attachment or uh, removal of this holster from your from your belt. Um, on the plus side, this screw you see here, uh, you can loosen that and adjust uh, how the cant of the holster sits, whether a little forward or a little back, for your um, your personal taste. Um, the neat part about this holster is the way it attaches. You uh, get the weapon started by placing it in the holster and then just rotating the uh, weapon in. Um, obviously you would carry it with uh, in a safe position with this the button latched. But the thing that makes it interesting is the way that you would draw this um, in a situation you would just rotate it out. I don't know if you notice, but just the movement of withdrawing the weapon from the holster, you're already in a rotating position where you are going to be in a firing mode. So let's just look at that. You're, you get the weapon riding. You want to draw. You're already rotating the weapon to your ready position as opposed to draw and then rotate. It might not sound like a lot, but in a stressful situation, um, milliseconds might make a difference. Uh, the other thing, this is Kydex. Um, it's not going to affect the finish of your weapon in any way. Um, Weight-wise, they're pretty much identical. Uh, Galco probably wins out being on maybe, I don't know, feels like maybe 10 or 15 grams lighter. But, I mean, really these things are, are uh, pretty close in weight. Um, as I said, both outside the waistband. This one sits pretty far away. Um, if you uh, are looking for total concealment, um, I would probably think you would want to look at the Galco. Um, if you want to look at uh, ease of access to your weapon, I would not uh, look past this at all good good choices on either one and then if you want to go inside the waistband well this is this is my carry gun this is a Glock 29 if you're gonna go 10 millimeter uh, there's nothing in the chamber on this one right now and uh, this is inside the waistband um, cheap inexpensive uh, well made uh, single probably last a hundred years uh, it's got the Easy access attachment for on and off your waistband. Um, again, Kydex won't hurt the finish. Good retention. Excellent, excellent choice if you're going to do, do a 10 mil uh, inside the waistband. Well, this helps a little bit. This is Desert Gold. Uh, you guys have a great evening. Thanks.